What specific problem does the new method aim to solve based on the paper? The new method aims to solve the problem of evaluating the intelligence of large language models, LLMs, in a more reliable and practical manner by establishing a correlation between compression efficiency and intelligence. This method addresses the challenge of limited empirical evidence on the relationship between compression and intelligence in LLMs. By using compression efficiency as a metric to assess ILM's abilities, the method aims to provide a stable, flexible, and unsupervised way to evaluate the model's performance across various downstream tasks. Additionally, the method seeks to mitigate issues such as overfitting, data contamination, and subjective judgment in evaluating ILM's intelligence by utilizing compression efficiency as a reliable indicator. How does the proposed method or algorithm work? Illustrate step by step. The proposed method works by empirically examining the relationship between compression and intelligence in large language models, LLMs. The process involves evaluating various pre-trained LLMs of different sizes and from diverse organizations for their compression efficiency and intelligence across three key abilities, knowledge and common sense, coding, and mathematical reasoning. The models are assessed on downstream tasks to gauge their domain-specific intelligence. The compression efficiency is measured using the average bits per character, BPC, metric, which quantifies the average coding length per message of compressing a given corpus. The correlation between compression efficiency and intelligence is evaluated using the Pearson correlation coefficient and root mean square error, RMSE. The study focuses on well-trained base models to ensure that the evaluated intelligence is already manifest. The linear correlation between compression efficiency and intelligence is established as a universal principle, providing empirical support for the belief that superior compression indicates greater intelligence in LLMs. The method also addresses potential issues such as overfitting benchmarks, and the selection of appropriate compression corpora to ensure the robustness of the findings. Additionally, the study explores the impact of the size of the compression corpus on the reliability of the BPC metric and extends the analysis to cross-ability tasks, demonstrating the effectiveness of using compression efficiency as a reliable evaluation metric for LLMs. What are the theoretical or practical benefits of using the method according to the paper? The theoretical benefit of using the method proposed in the paper is that it establishes a strong empirical correlation between compression efficiency and intelligence in large language models, LLMs. The paper demonstrates that superior compression, as measured by bits per character, BPC, is indicative of greater intelligence in LLMs across various domains such as knowledge and common sense, coding, and mathematical reasoning. This correlation is supported by a high Pearson correlation coefficient of around minus 0.95 for each evaluated domain of intelligence, indicating a linear relationship between compression efficiency and downstream task performance. This finding provides empirical evidence for the long-standing belief that compression is closely connected to intelligence in the context of AI based on LLMs. From a practical perspective, the method offers a reliable and unsupervised metric for evaluating ILM's abilities. By using compression efficiency as a metric, researchers can easily update and customize the compression corpora to avoid overfitting or test contamination issues commonly encountered in benchmark evaluations. The method allows for a flexible and stable evaluation of LLMs, as demonstrated by the linear correlation between compression efficiency and the model's downstream task performance. Additionally, the method can be extended to assess LLMs across different model sizes, tokenizers, context window lengths, and pre-training data distributions, providing a universal principle for evaluating ILM's intelligence based on their compression capabilities. In conclusion, the method proposed in the paper offers both theoretical 
and practical benefits by establishing a strong empirical correlation between compression efficiency and intelligence in LLMs. It provides a reliable and flexible metric for evaluating ILM's abilities across various domains, contributing to a better understanding of the relationship between compression and intelligence in the context of AI based on large language models. How is the method validated or tested according to the paper? The method in the paper is validated through empirical study by examining the relationship between compression and intelligence in large language models, LLMs. The researchers collected diverse LLMs of different sizes and from various organizations, evaluated their compression efficiency and intelligence across different domains, and then summarized the potential relationship based on the evaluation results. They conducted experiments across 30 public LLMs and 12 diverse benchmarks, uncovering a remarkable finding that ILM's downstream ability is almost linearly correlated with their compression efficiency, with a Pearson correlation coefficient of around minus 0.95 for each evaluated domain of intelligence. This linear relationship was observed not only across different model sizes, tokenizers, and pre-training data distributions, but also extended to most individual benchmarks as well. The researchers also compared the compression efficiency of the models on different corpora to study the effects of diverse compression corpora on the results, demonstrating that the linear correlation relies on the alignment degree between the compression corpus and the specific area of study. Additionally, they varied the size of the compression corpus to analyze the impact on the correlation strength, showing that the compression corpus is sufficiently large with only tens of millions of characters. Overall, the method was rigorously tested through a comprehensive evaluation of ILM's compression efficiency and intelligence across various domains and corpora, providing strong empirical support for the linear correlation between compression and intelligence in LLMs. What results were achieved with this new method according to the paper? The paper achieved remarkable results by establishing a linear correlation between compression efficiency and intelligence in large language models, LLMs. The study conducted experiments across 30 public LLMs and 12 diverse benchmarks, revealing a Pearson correlation coefficient of around minus 0.95 for each evaluated domain of intelligence. The findings showed that ILM's downstream ability is almost linearly correlated with their compression efficiency, extending even to most individual benchmarks. The paper documented this linear correlation across varying model sizes, tokenizers, context window lengths, and pre-training data distributions, providing empirical support for the belief that superior compression indicates greater intelligence. The results demonstrated that compression efficiency serves as a stable, flexible, and reliable metric to evaluate LLMs, which is linearly correlated with the model's abilities. Additionally, the study highlighted the importance of selecting appropriate compression corpora, aligned with the specific domain of study, to ensure a strong linear correlation between compression efficiency and intelligence. What are the limitations or drawbacks of the method mentioned in the paper? The limitations or drawbacks of the method mentioned in the paper include the focus solely on base models, excluding fine-tuned models, which are not considered general-purpose compressors for arbitrary text. This limitation restricts the exploration of potential relationships between base model compression efficiency and benchmark scores of fine-tuned models. Additionally, the study concentrates on short to medium context regimes, deferring the investigation of long context scenarios, which may limit the generalizability of the findings. Furthermore, the conclusions and results of the study may only be applicable to well-trained models, potentially not holding true for language models where the evaluated abilities have not fully emerged yet. These limitations suggest areas for future research, to address the relationships between compression efficiency and intelligence in a more comprehensive manner.